Hello everyone, today I'm going to be walking through how to quickly triage um, your environment for the Log4j vulnerability using SIFT and Gripe, Inkwars 2 open source products. First we're going to start with SIFT. SIFT is a great tool that allows you to quickly generate SBOMs in the CI-CD pipeline against images or local file systems and directories. So to get started, you can go ahead and download SIFT as we see in uh, the string above. So I'll go ahead and just type in SIFT there. You'll get all your options that you could do here. Um, so then I'll focus in on um, just an image that contains the log4j uh, vulnerability, right? So I'll go in here and I'll look uh, in for that log4j uh, package. So that way we can go ahead and generate a vulnerability scan against it using gripe. So here we get a full output, right? But if I was just looking for the log4j package, I can gather all the packages that are using log4j. Um, so what's happening right now is SIFT is parsing that image and it's going ahead and cataloging these packages. And you could go ahead and format this output uh, in JSON or SPDX format um, or Cyclone DX format in order to meet your compliance or regulatory needs. Um, you could come in here and what we'll do here is uh, output this as JSON and then we will save this as um, an SBOM artifact. So uh, what we'll do is we'll save it as an SBOM artifact and then we'll use Anchor's other open source tool called Gripe to identify CVEs from this SBOM. So uh, by doing that, we're gonna save ourselves a lot of time uh, because when we do that vulnerability scan, because we have the SBOM already generated and we can identify those log4j packages extremely quickly, we can go ahead and identify the CVEs a lot quicker. So if we go here, we can then um, do a ls. We could see that SBOM artifact here. Um, I'll just expand the gripe options for you quickly. So you can see, you can again, point it at a tarball. You could point it at a local directory. You could point it at an SBOM, which is what we're going to do here. So we've already generated an SBOM with SIFT against an image that has a log4j package. And we're just gonna specify SBOM and then, uh, hold on, let's see what we called that guy. Okay, log4j sbomb.json. So then we'll do gripe sbomb log4j sbomb.json. And then uh, we will grep for the CVE, CVE identifier um, in the next step. Um, but let's just look at what that output looks like. So you can see how much quicker that is, right? Because now, I actually don't need, um, I don't need to go ahead and, and parse that image and catalog it. That cataloging has already been done by SIF, so it allows Gripe to just ingest and spit out the results extremely quickly and accurately. So now I can grab this identifier, so I could come in and grab that initial log4j identifier. So at this time, the current guidance is to go ahead and update uh, log4j to 2.17 at the time of this video. Uh, so before we were on to, I believe, 2.15 uh, and then 2.16, and now we're up to 2.17 as of December 21st. Um, so we could go ahead and spit out that result and you'll get all those matches against that specific CVE, right? So if we look at these other CVEs that were subsequently released against log4j uh, within the past week, um, you can again filter for those as well. So that is how you quickly uh, go ahead, generate an SBOM against images that uh, images and local file systems and directories that could be impacted by log4j and then passing that SBOM to identify the CVEs um, within that file system or image uh, that has that log4j package in there. So that is all. Happy hunting.